What is up guys, welcome to a hashtag real talk. Today's video is about uh, the video games in real life and if they are bad for you or not. Um, I did a bit of research and uh, I found out some pretty interesting stuff actually. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys about what I found. I'm going to open some packs whilst I'm in the background. This is all pre-recorded gameplay, FYI. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to give you the information I found and hopefully you will find it interesting. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So, video games are so poorly, poorly shown in the media. The amount of bad things that happen about video games in the media is just incomprehensible. It's everywhere. Video games are a sin, according to Daybreak, uh, it, or whatever, whatever you watch. Good Morning America, or whatever. Um, it, they they hate video games. They blame everything on video games. They, if you, apparently if you play a GTA or COD, you will become a terrorist and blow up everything in sight if you play GTA. Obviously that's not true because I play too much, probably too much GTA, but I haven't stole one car yet. <laughs> so obviously that's not true, as you guys probably already guessed. Um, my opinions, obviously it's going to be a bit biased because I'm a gamer. Oh, but in my opinion, and unless you've got like an, um, a condition like epilepsy or uh, what else, unless you get motion sickness, which older generations had have, had has, I can't speak, um, then I don't think it's a problem. Um, I, in my opinion, it's just enhanced television. You're getting interactive with it. It's not really much different. That's all I can see. Um, it's a more intuitive, it's more social, it's more, it's just a better television, um, but the amount of, you know, bad press, it's got, I mean, if you went to someone in the middle of the street and started having a random conversation and said, oh, I play video games, uh, and, you know, you, they, would, they would be like, um, um, okay, I'm just going to walk off now, you know, it's, it's not something that's accepted in, in society, um, and I, again, I'm a gamer, so it's going to be a bit hard for you guys to take it what I say seriously but in the end of the day video games aren't bad you know crazy people are crazy if you're gonna go blow up a building you're gonna blow up a building and it's not because GTA told you to it's because you are crazy you know it's <laughs> it's nothing to do with video games and that's why uh, I kind of started to make this commentary because I've been uh, so annoyed with the amount of stupidity in the world <laughs> it just annoys me how many people like are blaming video games for everything um, that's kind of why I started doing this commentary actually it's because you know it just annoys me about the amount of people that think video games are the source of violence um, uh, other, other things the whole square eye bullshit that you see everywhere is not true your eyes do not s go square when you play video games who the fuck thought of that I don't know but they are they were obviously high it that's not true video games okay this is actually a true true uh, fact Okay, it was some. It was some um, American university. I can't remember which one, so I'm not going to quote it. But basically, they took. I think it was like six people who were short sighted, made them play video games for six months, and it actually turns out um, three of them had a 50% increase in their eye. Um, kind of. Um, I don't know what would you call it. Their vision, uh, and then the other guy had a 30% increase, which is still an increase. Um, so all it does is actually, it actually improves your eyesight if you do play uh, violent video games, by the way. It was only for COD, so I'm not sure how it would be if you played FIFA. But for COD, you know, for a act pretty action-packed game, your eyesight gets better. They were, they, I think, I think well, I can't remember exactly what it was, but they were, I think they were 50% more able to detect different shades of grey or something across those lines. And, um, I think it's ridiculous how people are actually blaming video games um, at, when it, it actually, in, in fact, is actually helping people. Um, that kind of confuses me a bit. Uh, I don't understand why people are doing so. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I'm going to carry on playing games because I know in, after the research I've done that video games are not bad for you. All they do is just, you know, it's basically just enhanced television. All it does is just add to you, basically. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. Um, you know, we, like my parents are really anti-gaming, uh, which I suppose doesn't really help for my my kind of side of the argument. But they're re really anti-gaming. Um, that's kind of why I have to find 250 quid to buy my Xbox One. 
Um, they just think it's it's just a stupid idea. I don't know. It's, I think it's kind of how it, uh, it was with the music, saying like the 80s, I think it was. Um, rock and roll was kind of despised. Through the 90s, hip hop and R&B was kind of despised. Um, you know, and I think it's that's why it's kind of not liked now. I think it's because of that basic reason. It's of that, you know, people don't like change and people don't like you know certain things that they once did if that makes sense uh, and i think that's why you know parents don't like video games but um yeah again i'm rambling now i'm just going on for way too long so if if, if you did enjoy make sure to uh, hit the like subscribe and i will see you later peace <laughs> So let them catch up with the language They can talk shit, but you know that we can manage uh, They say they're tired of the metaphors They are only pissed that they're never really ready for them uh, So go ahead and get ready for them Pop another bottle, cause you're gonna need a steady y'all uh, It's like we're living in the Tron game Lines are all blurred, cause we're sipping on the Bombay uh, John Stock versus LeBron James No competition when you factor in the time change Babe, who sucks? Fuck what the books say I can strike them out with three pitches in an arm sling Yeah and we can do anything, mama said it's true and I put that on everything my mama told me, one day I'ma blow up big and I'ma be a king And my papa told me, it's okay to say where shit hurts Don't forget your dreams cause they'll get you through this So call life, they call living, but I call it strange And I bet I'll do it, cause I'm on my way It's strong enough that I can shake the pain